Hey guys, what's up? Gaming Gear here. And it is July 18th, 2012. I'm still using my onboard audio. I'm so happy about that. No, I'm not. But, um, so this is going to be my first series of videos about uh, the games I saw at Comic-Con. So the first game I'm going to do is going to be the first game I actually saw. Um, hint, if you're going to Comic-Con next year, don't buy Preview Night because you can get registered, and they just let me walk in. I didn't buy Preview Night. They don't check your badges. Like, they check to see if you have badges, but you can still get in. Um, so, the first day I went there, Wednesday, I went into the, they had a big, Google it if you don't know what it is, but they had, like, a reconstruction of South Park Elementary, like, because they're kind of little, you know, box area so people would wait in line to go in and see the actual new gameplay demo which is not on youtube i'm sorry about that but um oh i'm not sorry about that because it's not my fault they uh they're not gonna put that on youtube because it was exclusive to comic con but um it was it looked pretty good my overall impressions of it are it's funny as hell it looks like kind of a party jrpg kind of thing with south park styles to it like um for instance, like, you can, um, you can, uh, if an enemy's knocked down on the ground, you can whip a, uh, whip and call in Mr. Slave to do a, um, attack. But, um, it looked pretty good. The graphics look, you know, all high def and nice. Um, the guys from Obsidian where they were playing it, uh, one of the developers, he was playing on the 360, it looked, or at least the guy looked like he was playing it on the 360, it was a 360 controller that he was holding. The, um, Frames per second did drop a lot. It was noticeable to see. When I mean, there's not a ton of action on the screen. On the screen, it's probably just because it's a um, a you know pre-production kind of build, and this is the first time they've ever showed gameplay of it. But you know, they said in the interview with Game Informer that they wanted to translate that kind of crappy tone of South Park to the game. So if they make the game's frames per second drop intentionally to make it seem like it's crappy, that's going to piss people off. Doesn't sound like they're doing it, but if they are, that's just not good. So overall, my impressions for South Park the game are very strong. I also played with the character creator, which was <laughs> pretty awesome. You could email it, you could create a character that looked like, you know, what you would play in the game, and then you could email it to yourself and have a copy printed out. Um, which was awesome. I did that while my other friend was waiting, waiting in line for Halo 4. That will be my next video, probably. I get to play the multiplayer. I get to play 12 minutes of it. And, yeah. So, South Park the Game looks good. I pre-ordered it, even though GameStop's crummy system of pre-ordering PC games denied my credit card. But I still got the shirt. I don't care. It's an awesome shirt, too. It says, um has Cartman on his throne in his wizard co outfit, and it says Cartman the Wizard King, and it has, like, his little frog, um, thing on a, uh, a little stool next to him, and on the back it says Stick of Truth. So, that's my impressions of South Park the Game. Please remember to like, favorite, comment, rate, and subscribe. And, if you like this video, be sure to stay tuned for my next three videos of impressions of Comic-Con. Probably more, actually, but stay tuned. Okay, also, one quick thing I forgot. Uh, I took some pictures with my phone. That was what was playing the other images besides the Game Informer cover. Look at the box art that's appearing on the screen right about now. It says Better with Connect on the 360 version. If you also, if you go to THQ's website, the official box art does have the same Better with Connect thing over it. So I just thought that was pretty interesting that they have the box art there it says better with connect when they haven't announced it and the guy there did not show any signs of using voice um connect kind of registration thing so that's going to be the end of the video rate comment favorite and subscribe thanks